You had quite the support system out there. What did it mean to have your brother? Man, it meant everything. You know, he, uh, at first I was kind of worried he wasn't going to make it. Uh, calm down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, kind of worried he wasn't going to make it, but he ended up uh, making a drop last night, uh, the nine and a half hours from Dallas, and uh, he ended up making it. And I, I was just happy to see him this morning uh, walking in. So, and then, you know, Carlos, Khalil, Eric, they all made it with their uh, fiancés, and my girlfriend, she made it. And I'm just happy to have my support system that I have. So it's a good deal. Were you a little limited physically today? No. Nah. Oh, like chest contusion or something. Oh yeah, something. yeah. I had a, a little chest contusion while I was working out, and uh, I didn't want it to affect me. And um, I'm be, I'm, I'm, I'm good though. What do you feel like you showed scouts that you can do well just from what you did do today? Man, I just showed them uh, that I can maintain my way. I can, you know, if they want me to play heavy, I can play heavy. If I can get down, I, I can. I showed them that I can get down, and uh, I showed my mobility. Showed them everything I can do. Um, just showed them like. With, with, with my tape show, you know, so. What'd you weigh in at today? 302. <laughs> <laughs> Is that as light as you've been in? Uh, since sophomore high school. So, <laughs> so no more snacks? Nah. <laughs> what went into dropping that kind of weight? Man, uh, you know, I had, had to, had a, uh, just a great team put around me when I, I trained down to APEC in Fort Worth. Um, my nutritionist, uh, and then like our trainers, uh, Taylor, Bailey, um, Mason, Carter, and then the training staff uh, with Jimmy, Jordan, and um, Derek. They just did, did good with just helping me um, give everything I had each and every day. And uh, thankful uh, to have been at that facility. And uh, yeah. Because you were what at the end of last season? I was, uh, this past season, I was 3 315. I was 315. And uh, after, the, after I had like uh, went through my little temptations and everything I uh, got back to 321 and uh, I just knew like it's, it's really time to like let's just get this so. was it a little surreal that you're at this point in your career now you know less than a month or maybe a little more than a month away from, uh, from the draft yeah it's surreal but you know God has everything written out everything is planned I'm just following the script so I'm just happy to be here like I said what was it like being around some of the your former teammates again Man, it's just it's like I said, it's just great seeing old faces and uh, like you, it's just this place is just special. Um, right when I came in, like ever since I walked in, it's, the smiles are still there. Um, just like I said, just great people all the way around. What did the what did scouts told you about where, where they see you playing and where you might continue? Man, um, it's been a lot of things, and you know, um, everything nowadays is just talk. Um, but they said they can see me uh, taking up bodies and uh, like just eating up space. And some see me playing three takes. So they say they, they see me getting uh, affecting the quarterback that way. Um, and then, yeah, just playing anything from zero to three take. How tough was the decision about whether to come back for one more year or not? Or was it? Man, it was, you know, conversations like that is really tough, um, especially like, just not knowing what the future holds, but like I said, God had everything planned, and um, you know, I, I've been—I spent my last five years in Nebraska, and this is like this is a part of my life now. And uh, just leaving this, it was like leaving a part of me and everything like that. But I know, um, you know, just don't—I just, just can't wait to see what the future holds for me.